so it's Thursday, April, I believe, 18th right now. That was four, uh, well, we're in the morning. It's a new day. And I was trying to think of if I should be able to or if I could, uh, instead of doing it landscape, uh, use Snapchat to be able to do the documentation. Snapchat still sucks. Um, only because it doesn't load and it's very, very inefficient. At least with these ones, you can literally just press the play, press the record, and when you stop it, it saves automatically. With Snapchat, it takes like 38, 5,000 years just to be able to upload or even save the content. So I'm going to be sticking with this for now. Uh, the only drawback or the only obstacle I have is to be able to continuously keep these updated and keep them posted on my channel. But uh, I'm downstairs in the basement, as you can see. I'm just going to uh, do my regular thing before I go take a shower. And uh, it's, it's the last supper. It's a last supper. Tomorrow is a long weekend. So last day of the survival grind work week. And then after that, we'll see where it takes us. All right. You know you hate your job when you wake up early enough of the day just so you can do your own stuff and end up going to work late. Yes, I don't give two fucks. We are going off to work 6.16 p.m. Last day of the survival work week. Let's go. 3.37 p.m. We out of that hell hole and we're gonna go get a haircut. I, I used to do this thing with uh, Snapchat where I would do like a before and after of a haircut just to see how it turns out. I uh, gotta check it out right now. This is what I look like right now. Back head, mm. front head. Mm. All right, let's see what it looks like after. Ting! And that's it. Side to side. I'm gonna see if I can get a back view. I always do this. Don't know if that worked. But I gotta go in now, cause it is 4.32 p.m. and we at my mom's house, gonna go hit the gym. All right, so we at my mom's place today and all things being equal, no jacket, no shoes, I weigh. 174.8. That's good, that's good. Maybe why can't I see it? There we go. Bam. All right, and we are at week two, day four. <sighs> Today, what we're doing? It's just gonna be the CN Tower hit. Yeah, today's gonna be the CN Tower hit, so hopefully we can get the, uh, get him out there. Alright, let's get it. So, I'm about to go hit the gym, but something actually just came over me, and I was like, okay, I gotta document this, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Um... So I was willing to actually, uh, just a moment ago before I started making this uh, video, I was about to drop, or I was willing to drop a thousand dollars off the uh, S10 Plus uh, phone. Now um, I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but I just uh, I found it on like Face Mar uh, Facebook Market, and I thought to myself, okay, I need a new. Uh, the reason why I wanted a new phone was only so that I can have a separate phone to do video cameras as well as having this phone to do my regular stuff. Um, instead of just buying off a camera to vlog, I figured, okay, I'll just buy a different phone because at least the phone is a little bit more multifunctional. So I was like, okay, let's check out an S10 because that's like the latest one. So an S10 Plus with, uh, I think it was like a terabyte uh, storage, terabyte gigabits of storage or a tera gigabyte of storage. Uh, but it was like for 500, 512 gigabytes of storage, I was able to get, uh, well, at the end of the day, what hit me was that I was about to drop $1,000 on an S10 phone, S10 Plus phone, for no reason. Because I've already got a phone and I can make do with what I'm doing right now. And then it dawned on me, if I was willing to drop $1,000 on a random phone, not a random phone, but on a phone, which in a couple months is actually going to be obsolete because they're coming out with the S10 Plus, I think with the 5G enabled. And I think like a Samsung folding phone. As you can tell, I'm a Samsung fan. Sorry for iPhone. Uh, iOS users. I've never had an iOS and I've seen my brother with one. So um, I don't know why I share that. But 
oh man, I, I, I ramble. So here's the thing. If I can drop a thousand dollars on an iPhone, uh, on any kind of phone, I'm going to, and I don't need that phone because I've got one right now that I'm using. It's my S8. Um, I'm going to instead take that thousand dollars and invest it into a vehicle that's going to be able to make money, income, passively, residually, or leverage. Because if I can do that now, I won't even have to worry about the cost of the phone in the future. If I need something, I'll just buy it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And that's going to be part of a new series slash journey that I'm going to do separate from the Zen documents. Um, and it's dawned on me that uh, the work the work that I do, I love it. Like I love the people around there. But at the, at the time that I'm at right now... Um, I'm making about $600 take home a week. So if I can invest a thousand bucks to find a system or work on a system that allows me to free up more time and make the same amount of money throughout that week, I am stepping in the right direction to uh, becoming um, a lot more con uh, time controlling, right? Because I did a little bit of a, re not research, a reflection yesterday and I found out, and I've said it once and I'm gonna say it again, that from the whole like on a 24 hour span in a single day i am up from pretty much 5 a.m to 4 p.m i'm locked in that time frame at a job right now it's not good or it's not bad it's exactly it's a necessity that i have to do to be able to pay my bills um make sure that i got a roof over our heads and to be able to eat food and get from here and back to work and then from four to seven, which is pretty much roughly around now, I'm at the I'm getting ready and going for the gym, doing a little bit of chores here and there, but really just get it. That's my my healthy time period. And then from seven p.m. to about midnight, that's when I'm able to hustle. But from seven p.m. to about midnight, there's only five hours there. Within those five hours, I'm spending time with my wife. I'm pretty much taking care of the house, so I've really got two hours to be able to create this side hustle that's going to create the system to free up more time because the idea or the obstacle right now is that that 11 hours from monday to friday only generates 600 dollars take home so i'm going to see if i can find out a system that i can actually incorporate every day and then scale it right incorporate every day make some sort of money and then scale it where it's actually reducing the time that i have to be at this job this nine to five i know it's a lot of talking right now but this i'm just letting go of the thoughts of my head because it's been it's really been bothering me for some time and i think i instead of doing like let's say landscape um uh vlogs i am going to focus on more of the portrait vlogs that i can put on igtv that way i can incorporate my i my instagram with this youtube channel and use it as a marketing tool so with that said, I don't really know where Snapchat's going to play a f part of it. I know right now I've uh, officially opened up my new Snapchat um, and started uh, sharing it with the, sharing with, if you're watching this, sharing it with you, really. And But I don't really know what I'm going to be putting, what kind of content I'm going to put into Snapchat because Snapchat and Instagram, they're kind of rivals and you don't really put much on Snapchat. Snapchat really is just, um, I don't know, because Instagram now has everything that you kind of need in order to market if you want to be able to swipe up, there's a free way to get, uh, there's a hack that you can get a swipe up feature using Instagram and you don't have to have 10,000 followers. It's a great way to engage, uh, comment, even um, kind of mar like market. With Snapchat, I'm not too sure the purpose of it right now, uh, especially with its lagginess at this point in time. So although I have it going, I might not actually be that active on Snapchat and just work way away into incorporating both Instagram as well as uh, YouTube as my main source of, let's say, marketing and documenting this journey. Like I also have Facebook and Twitter, but I haven't even really used that as well. So the main accounts that I think is going to be quite um, uh, beneficial at this point in time is going to be YouTube as well as Instagram. I think those guys are powerhouses. And then I'll see what I can do with Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Snapchat. But I'm also going to be working on a website, right? So that's that's the progression right now. Uh, take care of my YouTube channel, find a system that works there, take care of the Instagram account, see what works there, and then focus on trying to figure out uh, ways to be able to create leveraged and 
uh, residual slash passive income with thousand dollars of investment. I'm gonna start off with scratch first, right? Because I don't want to be spending off just throwing off money and just wasting it all on like attempts at this point. Because I don't have that sort of resource at this uh, at this time. But I I, I am going to uh, from the stuff that I've been doing online so far, I've accumulated about three hundred dollars of seed money from PayPal. So I'll see what I can use with that. Use that as a uh, thing but i'm going to be documenting the i think i'm going to be doc i am going to be documenting how to be able to start making money from scratch using online resources like survey sites and uh uh app earning apps and then from there just in, reinvest it to be able to make more money right because the idea to be able to create this leverage and passive income is to develop so, some sort of seed and use those monies that you've created to create more monies and then all of a sudden you get a system that's using money to create more money. And that's how you create abundance of, uh, it's not even really wealth. It's really just abundance of this tool called uh, coin, right? So, but anyways, that's a little bit of my rant uh, for this point in time. I'm going to go hit the gym right now. All, all we're doing for week two, day four, right? Because today's Thursday, week two, day four is just a and Tower hit. Um, I don't think I'm going to get the 500 club this week, maybe in two weeks because, man, it's tough. Try running up 147 floors in uh, 20 minutes. I, I dare you to try it. But uh, I just use a Stairmaster at Planet Fitness. If you got a Stairmaster that tr tracks your uh, your um, floor count, I I I um not recommend, but I urge you or or I motivate you or or I I dare you or challenge you to just try it. See how long it takes you to do 147 floors, because. Uh, after like within 20 minutes, 140 cent floors, you're sweating. You're sweating pretty hard. Uh, not 500 calories hard, but you're sweating pretty hard. So we'll see. But anyways, that's enough rent. I shall go get the exercise in. And then I'm going to go focus on finishing off my YouTube channel. Uh, by finishing off my YouTube channel, it's just really just getting those, the, getting a system to get the videos in and at a very efficient time. Let's go. All right. So we'll be out here for Mississauga Planet Fitness week two, day four. We're doing just a CN Tower hit. Um, and then our calisthenics core time is 5.59 p.m. Let's go. Full scene tower hit. Done. Almost the 500 calories. Not yet. Maybe next two weeks. Sweat. Full scene tower hit. Almost the 500 calories. Inside the 20. Whew. So that's another one done. Week two, J4 done so nothing new just finished off the what was it it was the CN Tower hit almost at the 500 probably by two weeks I will be doing this uh, CN Tower high 500 hit uh, full CN Tower also did the calisthenics core but did 50 seconds for the planks as well as 8 16 reps instead of the original that you'll see in the description below again that is a shout out to I think in Mad Brothers I don't know I got to figure that out next time so that the next videos I properly credit them but it is done now time is 6.58 p.m. and we heading off to my mom so I can take a shower and get ready go back to working on these YouTube videos so I still haven't broken fast and it's already 7 13 p.m. Um, but I gotta go take a shower I'm gonna go off and work on my YouTube and then I'm gonna go uh, probably I don't know yet but that's definitely the plans for today shower YouTube videos want to get rid of that mind clutter let's go after I shower, after I shower, I'll probably be breaking up my fast with these guys. Some of this. Protein on protein on protein. And then some water. That's, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. So here's the challenge. It's already 9.05 p.m. And I just finished uh, showering, eating, hanging out with the family. And now I've got pretty much about three hours before I should be going to sleep. But see, that's the thing. Like, uh, at this point in time right now, I just feel like hanging out with my wife, just chilling out and just relaxing. So, the challenge that I'm coming across right now is where do I grind for the side hustle? Um, it, I guess that's why when you watch people like Gary V and uh, E.T. Hip Hop Preacher, they say that you don't sleep. And I can kind of see, understand why, especially if you're grinding with a full-time job, with family, with loved ones, and you're trying to be healthy at the same time. Something's gotta give. At the end of the day, something's gotta give. And for me, I'm not gonna compromise my health. At this time, I cannot compromise the job because I've already done that once and I've already went down a quarter million in debt. 
and I'm not gonna compromise my family time. So I guess right now the sacrifices that I've gotta make is pretty much self sacrifices. Like I've gotta cut off on my sleep. I don't even know about eating less because that's gonna be cutting into my health, but that's the situation I'm in right now. Uh, just leaving my mom's house, it was a great time. Like, don't get me wrong, I love spending time with my family, with, uh, with my mom, my dad, right? Because they're my family. But I guess there's gotta be some sort of sacrifice happening somewhere. But I'm gonna be get heading on home and spending time with the with my wife. Um, I don't know. It's just thoughts that I needed to uh, get out of my chest, just get out of my mind. Hopefully, I got some answers coming up shortly in my head. But uh, also, like the eating the food, like I'm breaking my fast after all the exercise, which is anywhere from six thirty to seven o'clock. And sometimes it's like a, I break my fast, and then all of a sudden, an hour has already passed by, and then I get it, and then I eat again with my with my wife, and then another hour is gonna pass by, and then I don't actually have time to just like relax or get ready. So I don't know. I, I definitely gotta do some. I definitely got to do some or reorganization, time prioritization, or just hammer it out, right? Just hammer it out. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. 9.07 p.m., going off, driving home, driving over to my house in Brampton. See you guys there. Peace.